What we've got here, Jim, um, is another brilliant invention from our friends at Gemini. Gemini, yeah. Yeah, the, in a bit, I say between Breakaway and Gemini, they are responsible for some fantastic innovations yeah. in sea angling, and this is another one. They must sit in the studio and think, well, how brilliant. they think of these things, I do not know. Right, what this is called is, this is a Gemini splashdown lead. It's along the same lines as the Breakaway lead. Right. Um, but this has got a real extra um, added uh, feature, which is brilliant. And what it is, for, especially with the long rods now, a lot of people are off the ground casting. And one of the problems with, that some people uh, come, have with uh, off the ground casting um, is where they, uh, their bait drops off the bait clip. If they want to fish a clipped rig, yeah. as we discussed earlier, yeah. um, and sometimes the bait is infuriatingly drops off the clip, yeah, especially if you're that. using a slightly bigger bait. Yeah. Um, if you're using something like a sand eel or a squid bait or something, it can you know drop off the bait clip and then obviously it goes out and it doesn't do what it's supposed oh, it to tangle do. Up with the, it can tangle up, up it doesn't go the distance yeah. that you want it to go, yeah. it doesn't present and all, all the problems that that can, can give us. So what our friends at Gemini have done is they've given us a lead with a bait clip on it, with a fail safe um, uh, release mechanism, right. but also it locks the hook in place it. so it cannot physically fall off the bait clip right. until it impacts with the water and this is called a splashdown lead so if i just show you what we do we see this disc here yeah what we do is we slide that up yeah. all right and you'll see there's a metal plate right moving as we slide that up so as we ah, slide that up yes. we rest our hook in against it pull it against the plate and slide the disc back down and that locks the hook oh, in right. place now that yeah. that is as you can see that is yeah. absolutely locked in place now, when I, if you're off the ground casting, if your line does go a little bit slack, slack. or you've got a bit, it yeah. doesn't matter. Your bait is here. You can have a nice big bait here, a bigger hook. These will take up to, and I've tried it, 5.0, 6.0 hooks, you know, like quite thick, wide hooks. So you can so go for a bass. Or absolutely. A great bait. for using with yeah. pennel rigs or, or for large individual hooks right. with a big bait. And that will, if you're off the ground casting, or pendulum casting, but if you're off the ground casting... That's a, that's a good option. Very, very clever. And yeah. if I just show you here, what happens is, along the same lines as what happens with the, the breakaway lead, again, they've got the fluted lead system, yeah. they've got the disc on the bottom, so that when this impacts with the uh, water, this flies up, but this time it moves the plate moves and it, it ejects and the hook. Look at that, yeah. as simple as that. that and that's amazing, what happens. Yeah. And again, that just ejects the hook 100% yeah. of the time. That's great. The yeah. idea of putting out a big bait safely and um, a long way is a yes. um, really good idea. Absolutely. I mean, sometimes there's nothing more infuriating if you've, if you've spent time whipping up a nice uh, <laughs> sand eel or, or, it, or a yeah. crab bait yeah. in order to see it all get come unclipped and, and, and twist yeah. up and, and not do what it's and supposed they've, to do. They've made these grooves or flutes, whatever you call it, quite deep, aren't they? They have, so yeah. They're, they're going to definitely work every yeah, time. Yeah, they do. They? The well, I use these myself. Um, yeah, I, I use these often, especially when I'm using a bigger bait yeah. um, and I'm using a clip rig. Um, mm. And they're absolutely fantastic. And basically the difference is they just come in different weight sizes right. as, as all the leads and do. And they're so colour-coded. Colour-coded, which makes it easy, yeah. identification that, in that your box. That is quite a good idea. You and know, and so right across the board, are they colour-coded? Every red one I get would be a 170, would it, in yes. the Gemini range? Uh, yes, it would, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and the blues are 150, yeah, uh, yeah 150 grams, yeah. that's right.